What's good? What's up, YouTube family? It's your boy again, Pimsy the Black, and I'm back at it with another That's video. Actually, so we are doing this after being gone for such a long time. But anyway, I'm not gonna waste any any more of you guys' time. I know it's gonna be boring if I'm gonna explain to you guys why I was away for such a while. But I'm hoping this video is gonna, I don't know, give, more or less give you a glimpse of what's the reason I was off YouTube for the entire year last year, which is. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get it. <laughs> Okay, so first thing I'm gonna talk about is me becoming an HK. Yeah, so for those who don't know what HK is, um, for other universities they call they they call them House Committee members. Uh, yeah, HK is ba is basically an abbreviation for the Afrikaner uh thing. Word of it, yes, committee something like that. So me becoming HK, which is so much confusing since I was doing my first year last year. Um, so what happened is. Um, when the rest that I was staying in, it was only for first year students, um, for some other the rest was always, um, like other races, it had senior students and all that, but due to some reasons, um, they ended up, uh, throwing out all those people that used to live at the rest that I was staying in and the thingy, they admitted all first years, actually not all of them, but I think about 80% boy boy students yeah i don't know male students that were admitted for on-campus races at the campus that i was staying in in apk so yeah it happened that the rest was only for first years then yeah there had to be i don't know age case they had to be at age case at some point so usually in a uh, normal races um age case would be like third year students which are most probably thingy final year students whom are thingy exiting because i think most of the courses are three-year courses yeah it's just those few ones that are like four years like mine but anyway um hks are normally third year students so it's kind of i don't know it's kind of a bit confusing to find someone like me as a first year coming to you and being like i'm an hk so yeah that's how i became an hk at the rest so yeah so in terms of race culture i think most of i don't know people especially the ones that live on campus uh, regardless of the university that you're in, um, there's a race culture. And I don't know, for most of, I wouldn't say varsities, because even at APK, there are some races where they have race cultures just too much. It's just too, you know, but I won't expose everything on the social media. Yeah, if you're from those races and yeah, if you're from any kind of race that has, you know, how culture. their experience is like and all that. So for my race specifically, since it was all for first years and also having first year HKs like, I was first year. I think it was kind of easy for our first years. Yeah, I was not, I don't know, titled first year since I was an HK. They were not calling me in their first year. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. I was not getting their first year treatment and all that. But we tried by all means to more or less um, get rid of the whole rest culture initiative that had all that has always that had always been so. In a way, it was a thing of um, okay, we have first years. And then HKs are also I mean, in as much as um as HKs, we are gonna um, more like have a see as to how things go in a residence and all that. I mean, facilitating everything. You don't get to a point whereby I as an HK would be like, hey, you need to do this, you need to do that. Because I mean, like, we're all first year, so who are you to tell me that? And those kind of things. I think that is actually nice. Like, it created that kind of an environment, which is so rare to find in on-campus races where um the rest culture was just, it was just fun, man. It was just fun, but I uh, I don't know. We are different as people. Some people found it um intimidating. Um, it got to a point whereby um we had students that were actually moving out of the race, saying that um the race culture is thing oppressing them. They are not comfortable and yeah whatever whatever, which I felt so I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it actually because I know for a fact that we were trying by all means to make sure that um everything that we do. Every day, every uh, all the activities that we come up with at the race are inclusive of everybody, regardless of their race, their culture, nationality, and whatsoever. So yeah, the race culture that is the that is all for race culture. There was not really much in terms of race culture. The bad side of race culture, let me put it that way, because that's actually a good side of it. So and then yeah. also part of the race culture, um, there are events that are 
thing it held throughout the year on campus on campus um i'm gonna be specifically to uj because not not I, all diversities have these thingy activities that events that i'm going to mention now so we had at the beginning of the year around i think april was it april or may yeah april may april may we had an event called the all rest concert is called an arc so as specifically for first year students so that's where you get to showcase your your guys' uh, talents you do a little a little a little bit more of acting you know and just a tiny bit of uh also singing and all that but the more the main thing uh the main i don't know what to call it yeah the main uh purpose of it is for acting basically so that's where all the races and um, get to come out and put together a piece that they're going to perform in front of the entire campus so that was such a nice experience in as much as i was an hk but i also participated in that and actually in the beginning and they were like hks cannot participate in the event because you guys are hks basically and we thought we were like no guys i don't think for the fact that we were already hks as first years um we were already uh, deprived of certain privileges that are for first years no and we like boy we're going to be thing excluded to into in these events as well because we are hks i mean i i want to myself i want to be able to um i don't know sometime in the future when i'm doing my third year fourth year or i don't know sometime after when i've already graduated and be like you know i was once a first year and there was this other event called an arc i never get to worry about i was staying on campus i don't even know how it's like being in arc because if you guys know me from high school i like things like literally if there's anything and they're like you can join i'm definitely gonna join i like trying new things and yeah i was part of the arc it was so nice um one other thing i think there was also a rest battle but then rest battle included more of the i'd like to call it the bad side of the, or the harsh side of <laughs> you guys if hks see this video hks from addresses please don't come for me but yeah it's just my my opinion this is just my honest opinion so rest battle uh, i don't know highlights the bad side of the rest culture so it was more about that hence why my race specifically did not uh, participate in the in the in the thing in the event in the rest battle and then the third and last event that we that the third and last big event actually yeah because there were some few small events uh, throughout there but the third uh, last big event that we, that was held on campus was the siri the sing it out it was you know, there was, guys if you know the sing it out i think you know what i'm talking of and yeah if you follow me i think you saw i posted a few clips of us singing there and wara 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 actually didn't know i can sing guys and worst thing ever i was singing bass and i was yay make it more anyway anyhow it was so nice guys. it was such a nice experience it was like it was over the top i felt as though i'm on idol smooth demo i mean hear me out darling if you wanna hear if you want uh, you know a few clips of us singing you can you might as well visit my the thing in the rest instagram or my instagram because I, I also think i posted did i no i think i only posted the pictures of us all singing i didn't post the videos on my on my uh, instagram account i only posted the thing because i was in charge of the instagram account of the residence last year so if you go to your residence um instagram account you can yeah you can find the clips of us singing it was nice it was such an amazing experience then in terms of funding um i'm gonna say beginning of the year i had applied for nss and also a lot of bursaries because yeah if you know me you know Jorge, if there's anything about especially when i when i was in metric um if i don't know i would come up i, I would come across a bursary that i don't know i meet the requirements of and all that i would definitely apply so i had applied for like a lot of um bursaries as well as ns first course you need to have backup in a way so anyway um ns first okay i was self-funded from beginning of the year until may that's when actually i'm lying i got admitted by ns first, i think around march but i i think if like um ns first funded students know how the, this thing is so in as much as you are accepted you need to appear in the list that they are i can really um recall if they release the funding list on a weekly basis or a monthly basis but then i remember they were the list were kept on being released like that and you, you need to keep on if you are accepted if you are admitted by ns first you needed to keep on i don't know checking if your student number is part of them list that was released so that you know that you know what anytime soon the money might pop in and yeah so for me i got accepted around march uh sometime then and then 
um my my student number appeared on the nss list in may yeah in may so i got the money i got hey my changura guys <laughs> hey guys you know money ish money money is the way so yeah i got the money around may yeah and i used the money to buy the fridge that i that i was using at risk last year i bought that fridge for myself i bought it around may so anyway um okay sharp i was using it for may and then june i got a bursary by a liquide um yeah it's a bursary by a liquide slash essential skills development um i'd like to give the the both of the comp both of the companies thing credit because it's actually quite confusing i don't know what's happening because when i used for the bursary it was i was interviewed by a liquide it's an international company that um i think they yeah they provide hospitals and mines with gas you know yeah so that they can do their thing so that they can operate they can operate so that's the best that i was using and it's quite reasonable like it's quite because yeah so thing is when yo guys anyway so the best was it was quite quite like it was very much convenient um so the student the stipend per month was seven thousand rands um so that's the monthly stipend and then okay they pay for your for your fees with me because i was already thinking enrolling i was already staying on campus so the rest fees are actually charged on my student account so they just paid everything but then yeah so basically the bursary kept amount was five hundred and fifty thousand. i don't know if it's it's what happens on a yearly basis but for that year for last year it was hundred and fifty thousand. so they pay for your for all your fees your accommodation also the seven thousand rents that they give you every month they also come out of that money and then come december time if there's still a money that's left then yeah they would give it to you so yeah that's the best that i was using for my first year guys oh actually actually i, I didn't explain this part so because i got it i got a better i had to cancel my ns first if you get what i mean so yeah i had to cancel ns first but yeah so i'm going out slash spending time out you guys I, I i wouldn't say i don't know <laughs> i don't know okay i wouldn't say i i was going out that much i mean doing the course that i was doing i'm actually i'm studying thing in electrical engineering so if you're in the in the faculty you know just how much work there is in engineering so there was just a lot of work um school was just you guys oh and when they say um someone is financially not financially lack of a better way <laughs> academically i don't know tortured i got academically tortured last year engineering just took me and it was like <laughs> or when if you think you're part of the top students at your at, in high school wait until yeah if you are gonna do this course wait until it, it humbles you but i believe that um if you are like focused enough um if you have time management it's just those kind of things i think i have i don't know i have previous video where i was videos especially when i was in high school where i was motivating people on how, how to study study tips you know how to cope with school work wara, 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 wara. i don't know why i was i struggled to apply all those things in varsity because my first my first year was just so traumatic like it was a lot i i was lacking in terms of time management and all that and it affected my academics i was not doing so well in my first year in my first semester but then yeah we move we move i managed to yeah to get through there and at this point i think i am already used to the pressure to the engineering pressure the fact that um there's gonna be actually most of the time we don't sleep you know it's cross nights here and there like it's just a lot you, you lose your mind at some point your first semester is just i'm guessing you guys can already get i don't know a glimpse of how my first semester was first year first semester it was bad like it was really bad i found myself at some point crying in my room i was depressed i was all dead i think that's one of the reasons why i discontinued um I was just low discontinued uh of this shooting content and uploading on youtube and yeah so in terms of going out um i was going out i think if not i would say in a in a good month maybe at least twice a month and then in hectic months i would go out about once a month sometimes i would not even go out at all in a month and yeah going out i mean not groove guys i was not grooving uh, throughout the year i only started grooving after my final exams at the end of the year november 
so throughout the year going out i mean like going for movies you know going to restaurants you know those kind of outings with friends and all that and yeah so that's pretty much how often i was going out last year in my first year. okay and then the last part is academics i think i pretty much covered almost half of how it was academically for me last year um it was so much overwhelming i don't want to lie to you like it was really bad it was really bad and ish guys like you know you come from high school where maths and physics were i don't know maths and physics were your top okay let me say in my in my what is it called nsc certificate maths and physics were one of your top top subjects and you, you achieved so much in them and then you get to varsity and it's completely different like university physics yo my demo that module like it chowed me guys first semester engineering physics chowed me maths chowed me oh like it was bad like it was bad but i bounced back i bounced back i am now in my cost chowing boy era and yeah i'm grinding guys like i'm working so hard and i'm pretty i'm actually proud of myself for proud of myself as to how i performed for second semester so it really shows where sometimes when you get to varsity and then you start getting maybe you, you start failing or you start getting the marks that are not so good um it's not the fact that um i don't know you can't do it it doesn't like it you shouldn't um press yourself to a point where you want to deregister or you want to drop out of varsity or one of those kind of things you just need to give yourself time to adjust into the environment because it's a totally new environment because I remember one of the things that uh, led to me, uh, my led to my thing, my marks dropping was the fact that uh, most of the things we were uploading online and uh, it was something that I was just not familiar with because I'm from high school where we submitted everything in hand, in hard copy and all that. So you just need to give yourself enough time and yes, and I don't know. <laughs> spot your thing your weaknesses and all that and i believe okay in as much as some people when they get to varsity they're like okay this is this is where i get to get my freedom because i was not able to go out when i was in high school when i was staying at home so now i'm gonna go out go out go out go out yo my battery is low guys my battery is low so you must I don't know, self-introspect yourself as a person. See, Jorge, this is the kind of person that I am. This is um the level of understanding that I could reach. Um, Again, this is the course that I'm doing. You cannot compare yourself to someone who's doing, I don't know, I don't know, I mentioned courses, and then yourself uh, doing engineering, and you want to compare yourself to those people that go out every weekend, and you also want to match their energy. You want to go out every weekend. I don't think it's possible, but then if you agree that much, then kudos, kudos, you can do it so yeah so guys that is the end of my video today if you guys enjoyed this video hit a thumbs up and what else i forgot hit a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel and haven't subscribed i really don't understand i really don't understand why you haven't subscribed i mean i'm gonna give you just a second now to subscribe let's see so thank you so much guys for watching this video till, till the, the next end. video peace